Hello, welcome. My name is Manuel from Qatar Studios. Today, we're going to learn everything you need to know about uploading your simple products to your store. Okay, so this course is actually intended for my clients, but students can actually watch this so it becomes easier for them to upload products for sampling before and after building a website for your clients. So we're going to learn how to upload a simple product, how to edit a product, deleting a product, inventories. We're going to learn how to suspend a product from the front end, but still have it so you can also populate it. How to update a product stock and all of that. Okay, so without further ado, let's just get into it. Before we get into that, I would like to point this very clearly. If you are using a particular aspect ratio, what I mean by aspect ratio is like we have square, we have rectangle, we have... Uh, not circle, just square and rectangle, that's the formats we have, okay? So, for instance, as you can see, this image is on square. The square size could be 2 by 2, 3 by 3, 5 times 5, 10 times 10, whatever, pixel, inchy, centimeter, whatever. But once the ratio, the width ratio is equal, equal to the height ratio, that is a square. But if we find an image like so, this is no more a square. Now, we're going to test this out and see why it's not a square. So, we're going to drag it into the space of the square. And we're going to expand it till it gets to the end and expand this till it gets to this other end. You see, it's lacking this other part. Now, to convert this to a square, we can do it in two ways. Let's just click this and leave here. You can do it from your window. Double click on the image and head over to this particular part. On the, click on this particular crop icon. Click on aspect ratio and select on square. Okay. Once you're done with square, you can then select on the part you want to actually save and you hit on save. This is what you're going to do on, to all your images if they are not actually on that ratio. Now, why this is important is, is not that we can't use this particular one, okay? We can use this. This makes more sense. But in, for the best practice, it's good to go with square so that users, when getting into your single product page, they can also be able, they can be able to see the image while also seeing the prices and also the image uh, product title but if it's on rectangle vertical rectangle like the one i just show you now it might be difficult for users to see the name they can see the full image and the image will cover more proportion or more parts of the device so we're going to convert this to a square like we did in the uh, desktop but this i'm using for this i'm using photoshop you can just create a square by just hitting on control and n and you can create a square by just selecting three times three like i talked about this before now Okay, three times three inches, five times five inches, whatever. So we can expand this to convert this to a square. We need to just drop the image in and expand left angle and expand the right angle. So we got the square. We can just arrange it the way we want. Then we can save our image with whatever name we think is okay. So make sure your image, you're saving it in a very lower memory. Okay, as you can see from there, this is... 330 kilobytes that's too big for a gallery thumbnail or a gallery uh, a product thumbnail or a product gallery so we reduce this to like 120 something kilobytes is okay and that's why i like using uh photoshop to edit my images before upload so we have these four images from here and we are going to actually deal with them one after the other so we're going to use them to actually do our practice today i just have taught you the basics of things you need to know Okay, so now we get into uploading the products. Now, one thing you need to know when you get in or get access to your dashboard, you can get access to your bag with your username and password, just log in. That will be made pro provided for you uh, before this course. So to get access to the part where you can upload products, all you need to do is to get to the left panel, okay? Locate the products and hit on it. Just click on it, it opens all the product lists, okay? Here is where we can add a product to featured product. So if per adventure you want your products to be in the list of featured products, you have some kind of best products you want to sell to clients and you want them to be in this list. Just click on this star uh, uh, button. Automatically, that star button will turn blue and that product is automatically made a favorite product or rated products, which means if we put a taxonomy, okay, or use a query of favorites, automatically all products are going to appear in that particular query. So, um, to upload the product, is not actually your thing. This is just for you to know if you want to favorite a product, you love a product so much, just favorite it from there and uh, talk to your designer. They can, they know what to do, how to populate them in your front, in your website. So, as we have here, we have all the products from here, all of them. 
These are all products we have. So instead of starting from creating a product, let's start from editing a product. So to edit a product, all you need to do is to hit on a product. There are two ways you can edit a product, a quick edit and the main full edit. So on quick edit, we can get a few options to change the name, to change uh, the slug. It doesn't necessary. You can just change the name. The slug will automatically apply. Okay. Enabling reviews. You can check, the, uh, check uh, fix, add an SQU. SQU is the code or a tracking ID. Make sure you add SQU. I'm going to talk about that when we start uploading the products. The tracking ID for products when uh, clients actually want to track their product if it's not delivered on time. So this is the price where you put your main price and this is the sales price where you put your sales price. So if for example you want to give a discount price, you have to put the sales price here and then put the discounted price here, okay? Here is the width and some other information, basic information you can do from here. So here you can put a product in stock and out of stock from here. If you put a product out of stock, that doesn't mean that the product won't show in the front end. The product will show, but that product won't have the purchase button. You won't have the add to cart button anymore because people can't purchase a product because it's out of stock. There, and there is another way to bypass this, which is called back order. Back order means you want a client to purchase a product even though the product is not in stock so that when the product is in stock, you can then deliver it to them. That's called back order. You can use back order only when a product is out of stock. Okay? So, but that's not a big deal. So that is how to edit a product. You want to delete a product, just hit on trash. And it's what? Move your product to the trash can. Here you can find all uh, all uh, published products. You can see all products. You can see your draft, drafted products. You can, see, uh, you can sort them from this particular angle. So you can also delete multiple products by selecting multiple products from here and clicking on the button option here and click on move to trash, then click to apply. Okay. Or you can select everything from here, move to trash and click to apply. So those are basic things you need to know. As you can see, if a product is in stock, it shows the green in stock here. But if a product is out of stock, for instance, we did a quick edit and we move this product from in stock to out of stock. We can actually save this. We will see that it will turn red and show it's out of stock. So when a product is no more available, it will notify you from here that the product is not available for you to actually update your product listing. So those are the basic things you need to know from here. You can also add a category, but we're going to talk about that when I start when we start creating a new product. Okay. And um, okay, let's just get into start creating a product. So to create a product, you can hit on new from here or you hit on new from here you can also import a product you can also select all products and export them so that you want to import them in another website or something like that i wonder why you want to do that so click on add new and here we can type the name of our product let's call this cream okay make sure the first letter starts with c nobody uh scrolling you screwing you for this it's just the aesthetics to make it look more uh natural or more real so we have this as cream the name of the title here is where you put our description but this is not the description that shows here let me show you example of what i mean this description from here is called an excerpt an excerpt is a brief description about your product then the main description is the one we are going to fill in at this bottom part but we're going to come to that so let's try to create some kind of dummy text So as you can see the beautiful text I'm creating, this is the beautiful description and you don't have to do yours to be as beautiful as mine. Just do your thing your way while I do my thing my way. I want this to get to the end and I'm satisfied with that. Anyway, we can actually copy this particular description and reuse it in the bottom part description. That's nothing bad. We are still going to go to heaven. So when we are done with our description, next thing we need to do is we have added our, our product title. We are going to come to this panel, okay? We are going to come to this particular panel, this particular panel, okay? It's very easy. So add our product title. Automatically, a permalink will be created for that. Add our product description and leave this as simple product. Remember, we are putting up a simple product. If it's a visual product, you can click on this. If it's a downloaded product, you can click on it. But leave those if your products are physical products. Okay, now um, here is where we put our price, the sales price, we can put whatever we want, the uh, regular price, we can put whatever we want. Now, 
a regular price is the main price you want to sell a product. Okay. For instance, we want to sell this product for 4K. Okay. Now the sales price for this product is going to be less than 4K. What it means that this 4K will now be cancelled and this particular product, this particular pro price will be the main price, which means this product is supposed to be sold for 4,000 Naira, but the product is now sold for 2,000 for a limited time. You can actually schedule the period you want the product to be on sale at this particular 2,000 price. After that limit, the product will go back to 4,000. But outside that, if you don't want to have a sales price, you don't, have have, you don't want to have a slash, just clear this off and put your main price. We all know that your main price is 2,000 Naira. So you just hype in that. So by the way, when we are done with the pricing, we don't need to do anything from there except for the fact we want to add our SQ. Okay? And uh, let's see to our inventories. We can add our SQ from here. SQ is the number like I talked about, about before. You can add any number, the number, the tracking number actually. Okay? Here is where we can make it whether I want it to be in stock or out of stock. Okay, we can also enable this to track quantity of this product. Now we make this, if you make this uh, four quantity, which means if this product gets less than four, you will receive a notification that this product is getting out of stock. So that's what this practically means. Okay, so this is, these are not necessary. These are not necessary. You can actually limit the purchase of a product. I wonder why you want to do that. To limit a purchase of a product to only one, which means one person with an account can purchase a product once in at a time. You can't purchase multiple products at the same time. So I wonder why the one of my customers actually wanted this op option, but uh, now he is out of business. So um, the shipping, all of these are not necessary for single product. We are going to control that from, we are controlling that actually from one end. Okay, attributes and uh, variables are if you are actually using a variable product, but this is, this course is actually for a simple product, okay? Everything you need to know about a simple product. So this is back orders. If you want to allow for back orders, you allow it, which means a customer can purchase a product and wait for the product to be delivered to them later. This is simply thing you need to do. It's just a simple thing you need to do to upload the product and that is it, we are done from here. Now we get to the right, uh, Panel, here we can see from the top, the publish, blah, 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 and whatever. Visibility, this product is a practically public. So we can click on visibility and make it private. Automatically, this product will be out of our, pro our website, but we still have it here. So we can come back here again to actually update this again. So that's how to actually disable a product from showing from the front end. And um, let's scroll down to see some other options. So we have here, uh, product image. So in product image is where we can add the main image of our product. So let's just gather around all the products we have actually assembled. Let's drag all of them in. So this is one way to upload a product. The second way to upload a product is to hit on the upload option by the right top right the top left corner of this particular uh, a dashboard and click on select option. Select option will take you to your gallery or to your uh, base you can select as multiple products and then you can upload from there. I hope you get that clearly So now we have all our products with the product gallery. Let me let me show you this clearly now The product image simply means the main product you want to show before the other products Okay, so for that we are want to show this lady and we click on select product image And that's all you need to do from here now product gallery a list of products that are going to show below this image maybe some list of other pro other parts of this particular product maybe the uh, 3d view or some other images relating to this particular product not another product so that's pro product gallery so we can select all of these other options okay just hold on your control key in your keyboard control c t r l then select on the first image select on the second image select on the third image and we can click on add to gallery so we've added the product to the gallery. Here is the category list. We can now select the category this particular product fall into or the subcategories fall into. So this is skincare. We can select on that. If it's skincare for facial, we can select on that. That is, uh, can select multiple uh, categories from here, okay? Supplement, you can select it, whatever you wanna do from here. And we are done with that. You can also add your, new, your own new categories by clicking on this, just type in the category and it is added, okay? Product tax, you can leave that. That's bullshit. I don't know what actually this functions as. This a couple of time is just used in Google indexing for indexing your products. But I don't think this is necessary anymore. 
So we get down and we are done with this particular product. All you need to do is to hit on publish. Why it's taking time for me to do is because I am the one doing it. You are not the one doing it. You, I'm actually trying to teach you while you learn, but so I'm not just gonna do it as fast as it takes me less than three minutes or two minutes to upload a single product, as long as I have the content available. So now this product as it's uploaded, it will be the first product we should be able to see in our store page. So when we get to our store page, we should be able to see our product. Okay, it's actually added here. Now, it depends on how your products page is set this product page is not set to show the last product as the first product it's actually set to show products by their initials okay by alphabet alphabetical of others as you can see we have a and we have b and we have c and we have d and so on and so forth so this c it started from here so we can actually change that to make it show the first product first and then the last uploaded product following it so since we have the product from here Let's try to see if we, we, what we actually did work. So click on it. People can actually add this product. So you see our beautiful, uh, this is a very beautiful um, uh, title or description for this product. Then our other description from here, review. This product have no review. Customer can actually add review from here. So when customer wants to view the products, other images, they can click to slide on other images or click from this arrow to see some other images. So that's basically it. Simple thing you need to know on how to upload a product to your store. A simple product actually, not a variable product of products with attributes. So we get back to our dashboard and we are done with this product. Let me show you one more thing you need to know. When we click on product again, we see the product as the last product from this list, okay? One more thing you need to know, as you can see, our stock, we have four products. When someone purchase a single product, it's returned to three here, okay? So it is just to note that our product here is just for at the stock. People are purchasing, it is reducing. But to avoid, if you have multiple products, you can just forget adding your product store. As you can see, the categories we added are already populated too. Okay, so that is basically you need to do. So now you want to actually not stress yourself going through creating new product. You want to use this particular product template and create another product. So all you need to do is to click on duplicate. Automatically it will open that dashboard for the product. All you need to do is to change the name, change the description, change the image, change these other images. Call, just click close out these images and upload new images. Change the taglines and change the prices and all of those basic things you need to do. When you're done with that, your product, you can upload that product is the new product as you can see. As you can see SKU, we have our SKU from here, no tag, we have categories and that's just basically it. Okay, you wanna delete the image, the product, just hit on trash. I'm just thinking if there's something else I might want to talk about, but I don't think this is just basically it, about uploading simple products to your list. Now here is the category list. You can also add a category from here. If you don't add it from the product, add a category from here. You can actually change a category image by clicking on the category and scroll down to this part, select, and you can add an image to a particular category and update, and we are good to go. You can actually delete a category if you want. If you don't want a category, you can delete it from still that particular part. Just hover over it and click on delete. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this course, how to upload a simple product to your store, how to edit, how to delete a product, and how to do all basic things you need to do on your store or your client's store. Hope to see you again in the next course. Do have a wonderful day. Once again, my name is Manuel of Kota Studios.